Hey guys, let's see what's coming up in today's collective. So for those of you who are newbies, or if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. I would not be able to grow without your support. Um, let's lay a couple of ground rules though. <laughs> First of all, please don't uh, on the Facebook page because I'm uploading this in YouTube and Facebook. If you're on Facebook, please do not angry react please. Um, but you can care react. You can heart react. That's my favorite. You can like it on um, YouTube. You can just uh, hit the thumbs up and like it. But if you share this video, if you um, appreciate it, please share it, like it, comment, even if it's just a little emoji on either platform or on both. Um, that shows me that you really appreciate my time and energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What's coming up in today's collective? What's coming up? Ooh. Okay, well, this one came up first. This one just flipped over first. So I guess we'll flip them both over. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. So this first one shows a family setting. Like they're possibly eating together. There's, there's like a lot of, um, there's a feast here. But this looks like family time getting together. And then this one, this one is like somebody who's really anxious. There's there's fear there, right? Somebody who's struggling to sleep, possibly nightmares. Um, they feel like something is going to come out and hurt them. So let's see what's going on here. Let's clarify. Oh, wait. <laughs> Why am I clarifying this? All right. Let's clarify what the baby, um, what's it called? This is the uh, Los Tarots Egipcios. So it's actually, oh, my bad, Egyptian tarot. <laughs> I was reading the Spanish. <laughs> okay, let's start with the Ten of Pentacles. What's going on with the Ten of Pentacles? Oh, you know what? I haven't been in the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. Uh-oh. Let's look at the Five of Swords. So here, it shows, hmm... This is interesting because you know how each deck varies what they show with the Five of Swords, right? And this one, it's like the kiddos discovered swords, but they don't know how to use them and they're hurting themselves. So swords are information, right? Somebody ha could have discovered information that they're not sure what to do with, but the information's hurting them. Um, but let's see. Clarify Ten of Pentacles. We get the Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups with the Nine of Wands. Let's do this one first. So um, putting these two together, this could have been information that somebody got about their family or somebody they consider family. Um, Three of Cups makes me feel like this could be a situation where somebody possibly discovered that the person they loved had a an, another love interest. Could have been a Queen of Pentacles. Now, qu the Queen of Pentacles could be whoever it is that's discovering this information. That could be their partner. Ten of Pentacles is an established relationship. It's stable. So this could be a wife, somebody's wife. Um, so she could be the person that has a third party or somebody who's married has a third party and that could be the Queen of Pentacles. Um, either way, with the Four of Cups here, I feel like either the, if the Queen of Pentacles is the one that has the third party, she may have let them go, kind of chalking it up to, yeah, I it's you know, pushing it away. Like, I don't want this. We have the three and the four of cups making the seven of cups. So that could have been, she could have realized that it was an illusion. What she liked was an illusion. Um, the person outside of her connection. Or, or the person in the connection might have found some information about this queen of pentacles. Uh, and if she was the third party, they rejected her because they might have felt like then she was lying. That was an illusion. And they may have built up a wall to keep her out. Interesting. 
Let's look at the Nine of Swords. Clarify Nine of Swords. What's the fear here? We've got the Queen of Swords. Clarify Nine of Swords. Three of Wands. And the Hermit. Overall energy, Ace of Swords. Hmm. So maybe somebody had to make a choice. They might have found something out about a third party. And they push them away because they're like, no, I, I want to be stable. Ace of Swords, I want to make a decision. And the Queen of Swords could be the wife. Oh, this could play out so many different ways. Jesus. Okay, so let's go with that version first. Um, the Queen of Swords could be the wife. And they don't want her to find out this information that could hurt them. They don't want her to end up single. That's what they're afraid of, possibly. Or the other side of this coin could be whoever it is that's married. Um, maybe pushed away somebody, right? Because they think they're an illusion. But they're also afraid that this person that they pushed away might end up being single and go find somebody else. So we'll see. We'll see as the as the cards give us a little bit more. Oops, I flipped them over. Why did I do that? Might give us a little bit more clarity. Let's put these over here. All right. Let's keep going. What else do we need to know? Oof, child. Ten of swords with the six of swords. Now, if that's not betrayal, I don't know what the fuck is. This is um, complete betrayal. Whatever somebody feared came to pass um and with the six of swords they're trying to move past it so on one hand somebody is either afraid that their wife may end the situation with them and will walk away and on the other hand somebody may be afraid that their mistress whoever that or I won't say mistress because I don't know if they're having sex, but <laughs> whoever the third party is may end things and walk away. And here it is. So let's clarify this Ten of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords. What's this? Star. The Hierophant. And the King of Pentacles with the three. Oh. Oh, this changes things a little bit. Okay, so we had two queens, right? And I thought it was the king of pentacles being afraid of, of either his wife or his other person ending up um, single. But this kind of changes things because the king of pentacles is the one that feels betrayed. I think. Hmm. This is very interesting. So it could be that the King of Pentacles feels betrayed by the third party. Because we have the Three of Cups here again. So he's going to end that connection even if... Well, on one hand, end the connection because he want, what he wants is to be married. What he wants is to be stable. That's what he wishes for. That's what he desires. He wants transparency in his marriage. And he thinks like he won't be able to do that until he ends this connection so let's let's go with that for now because that feels more more in tune with what's happening here all right let's see what else okay i'm not going to show the second card yet so let's start with the chariot and then we have the six of cups okay so with the chariot this is obviously forward movement and then we've got Six of Cups. So a circle of friends um, or like the Ten of Pentacles, family. Let's see. Clarify the chariot. Ace of Cups. Six of Cups. And King of Swords. Okay, okay. So with the Hierophant, yes. So... <sighs> I feel like the King of Pentacles had to make a choice between the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. And he made a choice. He chose his wife with the Ten of Pentacles, Hierophant here, 
And the Six of Cups, he chose the person he had the most history with. Um, with the Ace of Cups, now what he's determined with the Chariot is to get forgiveness. Six of Cups, he's determined to rekindle the memories, rekindle the warmth between them. And King of Swords, he's also very focused on cutting off anything that could interfere with their connection. So we've got that. All right. Now, let's see what this card is about. Ace of Swords. Uh, this Ace of Swords is always tricky to me because although the Ace of Swords normally shows truth, this is an Ace of Swords, or this sword in the in the drawing is it part of a shipwreck that's underneath the ocean. So it's like somebody who is... Somebody who's hiding the truth? Let's see, clarify Ace of Swords. Because I could just be misinterpreting that. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Nine of Cups. No, no, they're not hiding the truth. Nine of Wands. So they're being very direct. Ace of Swords, they got clarity. They know what they want. It's like they just want to restart. Aces. There's a lot of Aces here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. With the Two of Swords and the Nine of Cups. They want to restart with their, with their soulmate. They made a choice. I'm not going to say the choice didn't hurt because the Five of Swords showed um, cuts, right? And then we have three swords here. But up, overall, with the Nine of Cups, this is their wish. This is what they're very passionate about with the Page of, I mean, with the Nine of Wands. So this is somebody who's making a decision, moving forward, rekindling a connection with their Six of Cups. Okay. All right, let's see. <clears throat> what else? Page of Swords. So see, this is, it looks like that sword that was underneath. I feel like there's something that this person is examining they're examining some truth or maybe their six of cups person because the hierophant here represents their marriage, right? So maybe once they go back to their wife and they express their truth, 